shaming my sister, who's a bridesmaid, for demanding she be maid of honor instead of me. My, F26, older sister, F28, has made me maid of honor for her wedding in one month and half sister, F21, is throwing a fit. So for background my sister Laura and I were raised by our mom without a dad for the first five-ish years of my life. It was just the three of us until my mom met my stepdad. They got married and had our little sister, Carrie not long after. My stepdad is an awesome guy. Before he came along Laura, mom and I lived in a tiny apartment with nothing much but second-hand items and each other. But we were happy because we had a roof over our head and food on the table. My stepdad has an excellent job so once they married and had Carrie we moved into a nice big house, a mansion compared to our apartment, and started getting nice gifts at Christmas time and birthdays. This is what Carrie grew up with, and whereas we grew up with a lot of it too I don't think it affected us as bad because we remember what it's like to be frugal and to not have much. My mom to this day is still very frugal and we love to go thrifting or making our own items like we used to anyways, so Laura and I are very separate from Carrie in that regard. Carrie has always been spoiled, but not in a throw a tantrum and ask daddy for a new car way, but she'll ask for a $500 birthday cake and get it, by name brand things only and if she can't have something for whatever reason she'll pout for 3 days and be moody. So surprise surprise she still lives with mom and dad and doesn't have a job of her own and they seem to be fine with it but whatever. Anyways Laura's boyfriend of 6 years proposed last year and we were all thrilled, he's a great guy and we all love him. Back when she first got engaged she gave me, her friend Charlotte and Carrie a box of beautiful earrings that said will you be a bridesmaid? And mine said maid of honor we were all giddy and started, coming up with ideas and discussing colors and cakes and all that fun stuff, but they decided to wait a year to save and to figure out what they wanted. Well 4 months ago Laura announced she was pregnant and as a family we were all excited. All except Carrie who remained quiet and didn't say much about it. Laura then explained that her and Alan decided they want to have the wedding in two months, with about 30-40 people so that they can really celebrate before the baby. Stepdad offered them $10,000 so they could have their dream wedding, but due to the circumstances they asked if they could use most of that money on a house they were looking at instead and he agreed. So Charlotte, Laura, Mom and I have been frantically planning things and it's been a lot of fun. Except for the fact that Carrie hasn't said much about it from the start and whenever we start wedding planning she either goes on her phone or will not pay much attention. Finally Laura had a talk and asked her for more input and to participate more and Carrie agreed. When we were on our way to the dollar store to pick up some wedding decorations Carrie scoffed and said dollar store decorations. That's so tacky. But we ignored her and did our thing. When we asked if she would help us make handmade invitations she complained again and said it'll look like a bunch of preschoolers made it and just stomped away. Finally just recently we were all dressed shopping. And Laura told us we can pick whatever dress we want as long as it's blue, because she wants it to be simple and we would be paying for it ourselves. So mom, Charlotte and I went into H&M and found beautiful blue summer maxi dresses, different styles, mom had lace, mine is a floral cotton, and Laura thought they were perfect. Except Carrie, of course, and she wanted to buy this $2,000 bridesmaid designer gown she found online. My mom told her that was ridiculous, Laura's gown didn't even cost that much. So Carrie of course, powdered and wine so mom gave in and we all went to this fancy bridal shop. Carrie right away found a pink blush gown that she had to wear. But, it was $1,000. Mom said a firm no. Plus it's not even blue like the other bridesmaids. My sister then said blue was the stupidest color for a bridesmaid dress because we don't even live near the ocean. Anyways we all left and she had her little pout and mom lectured her and told her this is a frugal wedding. It's in our backyard, barbecue with only 30-40 people, and so she doesn't need a 2K designer dress of any kind. Fast forward to a few days later and Carrie says she found a dress to wear that she already had in her closet. Plus it was blue so we thought terrific. But when we went over to mom and dad's Carrie strutted out in her old prom dress from high school, which is basically a puffy ball gown bedazzled with jewels, and as anyone does after high school she grew out of it so her boobs were spilling out and it overall was not flattering. On top of all that she was wearing a tiara full of sparkling jewels that she claimed she bought just for the wedding. Mom and Laura were silent and finally I felt I had enough so I snapped and told her she couldn't possibly be serious. Wearing a dress fancier than the bride is one thing, having your boobs spill out is another, but also wearing a crown on top of that? Who does she think she is? Carrie crossed her arms and said I'm the maid of honor of course I'm going to wear a crown. This is when we all get silent until Laura speaks up and says maid of honor? I made Amy maid of honor, you and Charlotte are the bridesmaids. Well this triggered Carrie and she began screeching what do you mean I am not maid of honor you told me I was. When? When you gave us those presents, I got earrings because I am maid of honor. Now I don't know if for this past year Carrie really truly thought she was maid of honor and got the title bridesmaid, mixed up or if she was in denial or just simply didn't pay any attention to detail, because I've been maid of honor this entire time and she hasn't said anything about it until then. But this caused her to have the worst meltdown I think I have ever witnessed in my life. I truly thought people only acted like this in movies, or storybooks. Whenever a Redditor would post about a bridezilla or wedding meltdown I always thought this must be exaggerated. But this has been the worst meltdown ever in our family. Carrie began screaming, crying. She ripped off her crown and stomped around until dad came down to see what all the fuss was about. Through her blubbering she told Laura her wedding was all wrong. 
she said she should be using that 10k for a nice wedding instead of that ugly brick house her and Alan wanted, because that's what the money was meant for. She also said it was the stupidest idea ever that my sister would want to get married while pregnant because you look like a fat swan in your wedding dress. And again she rambled onto something about how blue is a dumb color because we don't live near an ocean. I think at this point she's just pulling stuff out of her ass. Dad tried to calm her down and she finally screams that if she can't be maid of honor then no one can. And she won't go to the wedding. At this point Laura is a mess and is crying her heart out and I'm ready to smack that little witch so hard that the crown stays off her head permanently. But before I can say anything Laura says fine, you can be maid of honor, you win. And just like that, Carrie stopped crying and she gave a small smile before going up to her room. Mom and dad start arguing, dad saying there's nothing you can do to control a 20 year old's behavior, and Laura had went to the next room to call Alan about potentially cancelling the wedding. I'm so angry that I end up storming into Carrie's room to see that she's on her laptop ordering, that stupid pink 2k dress. I was so dumbfounded at the nerve of her that I couldn't even face her. I left and didn't say a word. Downstairs Laura is crying to her fiancé and the parents are yelling all the while Carrie is happily in her room buying stupid crap because she got her way. I don't think I've ever been this angry. I wish Laura had more of a backbone. I would've told Carrie to not bother coming if she was going to act like that. I don't even know what to do now. I'm also hurt that Laura gave the title to her just like that because she screamed for it. I don't know what to say or do to anyone. What should I do? Quick edit, we live on a farm. So we have a prox 6 acres of open space where we are holding the wedding. The cooks who are preparing the hot dogs and hamburgers will be wearing masks. The guests are all required to wear masks and we have hand sanitizer bottles at every table. Sorry I had forgotten to include that. Personally I wouldn't want to risk it too much but I'll be wearing a mask and hand sanitizing constantly so I don't have to miss my sister's wedding and pray that everything turns out fine. We also have a little tap at the side of our house we use as a sink all the time that's available to guests. I forget that a lot of people right now probably aren't taking any precautions at all. So I wanted to mention we are, if at least a little. Update, shaming my sister for demanding to be maid of honor instead of me. Just wanted to post an update on what happened this afternoon. When I made that post it was already 3 days past the carry meltdown. So I gave it a lot of time and thought and soaked in everyone's piece of advice on here. Alan, Laura's fiancé, had actually called me early this morning and asked if I'd be able to go over to see Laura, because he's fed up with Carrie's bullshit and we need to act fast. I was relieved to hear I wasn't the only one fed up besides those on Reddit, so I went over straight away. Laura was on the couch in her PJs, hair unwashed and it looked like she had been crying the last few days. The image absolutely broke my heart and immediately she apologized to me and said she didn't know what to do now. Alan said he thought the three of us should all sit down with her and have an intervention. But Laura shut that down right away and said she doesn't think she could handle any more yelling. I agreed that being yelled at is the last thing Laura needs, and it should just be me and Alan. But Laura was nervous about that too. She didn't want Carrie to feel like she was being bombarded. So finally after a few back and forths Laura decided that she just wanted me alone to talk to Carrie without mom and dad. And her and Sue together made a list of things that I need to address with her so that way things don't steer off topic. Such as how it's unacceptable to yell at a pregnant woman, no matter the circumstances. How disrespectful she was to criticize anything with the wedding and the name calling. And of course the most important part about her crying in order to be maid of honor I also decided to bring up with Laura about the fact that Charlotte and I, the other bridesmaid, were planning to have a fun bachelorette slumber party in a few days to help Laura celebrate. Laura's face lit up and she seemed excited. I told her it was supposed to be a surprise, and Carrie was supposed to come. But given the circumstances and the fact that it's at my flat I don't want her there anymore and I wanted to see if Laura was fine with that. She said she was, and that she'd much rather have her other friend over instead in place of her. I told her that was completely fine. And after some more talking I made my way to mom and dad's to see Carrie. As soon as I walked in mom asked me what I was doing there, and I told her I needed to speak to Carrie. Mom looked around and in a hushed robe told me it's best I leave. Because the last three days after things were resolved Carrie has been perfectly happy and no one in this family needs any more drama. I told mom I was sorry, but things in fact were not resolved. They were far from resolved. That's when Carrie walked into the kitchen and asked what I was doing there. Mom tried to brush it off and say nothing. Amy was just coming to get something but she's on her way out now. But I told her no, actually that's a lie. I'm here to talk to you about what happened the other day alone. Carrie didn't seem pleased and mom's face was as red as a tomato but Carrie and I proceeded to go into her bedroom to talk. I firstly told her how completely unacceptable it was for her to raise her voice and scream at a pregnant woman because of how harmful it was for the baby. Immediately Carrie scoffed and said no it isn't. Don't make up lies to make me feel guilty. I told her what lies? She said the baby isn't going to be affected just because I raise my voice. It doesn't even know what's going on you're just making stuff up. What the this girl I swear. I decided it's no use arguing with stupid so I told her pregnant or not. This was Laura's wedding not hers. And all of the name calling she did and harsh criticism of the decorations was completely childish and unacceptable. I then brought up the fact how her throwing that tantrum to get her way was the most childish thing I've ever seen in my life. And that if things were reversed and I made Laura take away Carrie's maid of honor job she, Carrie, would have lost her mind. So how was it in any ways alright for her to do it to me? In response to that she told me I'm acting so pathetic and that I reek of jealousy. 
She then said there's no real problem here you're just jealous Laura decided she wanted me after all. I told her this was false, she wanted me, otherwise she wouldn't have asked, but agreed to make Carrie mo, to stop the fighting. Carrie then very smugly said there was nothing I could do about it now, so I'd better get over it. That's when I told her she was no longer welcome to the sleepover we had planned, and that Laura also did not want her to come, until Carrie decides to apologize to both me, Laura, and our parents for her outrageous behavior, she was no longer welcome in my, and my fiancé's home suddenly mom burst through the door, I'm assuming she was listening in, and went completely ape. She told me I had no right to ban Carrie from the sleepover and from my house and that the only reason I was doing it was to get back at her. She told me I was stirring up unnecessary drama and that at least Carrie didn't mean to hurt feelings the other day, whereas right now I'm doing it on purpose. This is when Carrie begins to cry and moan about how I'm always bullying her, and I'm not being fair. My mom then goes over to Carrie and starts rubbing her back and says I know honey she's being very rude to you right now, you didn't start anything. Gag. That's when I noticed stepdad standing at the door and I said to him do you not see all this? Did she at least tell you she bought that pink 2k dress? Dad looked awkwardly between my mom, sister and me before saying I think everyone is stressed out and no one means what they say, sisters fight, and I know by the end of the wedding you'll all be the best of friends again. At this point I really really had enough, I told everyone I was leaving, and mom got up and said the discussion wasn't over, I told her actually it was over, and unless Carrie apologizes to me and Laura, I will not be speaking to her. On my way out I heard Carrie say there was nothing she needs to apologize about but I kept walking. To say that I was hurt and angry is an understatement, and with how my head was pounding I just wanted some Advil and juice, so I went to the nearest substance store. Now, this part might have been where I crossed over the line, I'm honestly not so sure, but in my last post I didn't mention, because I didn't find it relevant, that Carrie has a boyfriend she's been going out with for approximately 6 months, his name is Noah, he's 27, he's hardcore Christian and overall a really cool guy, I've met him at the city's university about 2 years ago, and we had a lot of the same courses together and became pals, he and Carrie have quite a bit in common, they both love animals, he fosters animals all the time and Carrie at that point was debating on studying to be a vet, so at the beginning of January Noah moved back to our part of the city where he got a job as a pharmacist and that's when he and Carrie started going out, which we were all cool with because he really is a great person. Because of his Christian values he's very excited to get married and have kids ASAP, he's said multiple times he hopes to be engaged by the end of this year, Carrie is also his first relationship, which might be another reason why he's so anxious for the commitment. Anyways, I got some Advil and juice and was surprised to see Noah, because I didn't know he worked at this particular pharmacy, so he waved me over and saw the Advil and asked if I was sick. I told him no, just a headache from the wedding stress. He said oh? Carrie never mentioned any wedding stress, she said things were going terrific. This surprised me, but mostly pissed me off, so I asked him if that means she never told him about the situation a few days before. He had no clue, so I made it brief and I told him the highlights of her name callings, screaming, and choosing her own dress against my sister's wishes and how now she's the new maid of honor. This surprised Noah and he said stuff like are you sure? I know Carrie, she always hates yelling, she didn't actually make that big of a scene did she? I told him yes it was all very, unfortunately, true. Then I told him that if she talks to him, to please recommend her some sort of therapist, he knows quite a few, and I told him perhaps she might even need medicine for bipolar disorder for all I know. I told him I am now out of her life unless she apologized, and if I were him I would think very carefully before making a commitment to her anytime soon. He stood there and didn't respond so I left and when I went home Alan and my fiancé were playing video games and they asked what happened so I told them everything. Alan and fiancé think I was in the right for everything including warning Noah. Later on that evening however I got countless texts from Carrie and my mother who were furious that I mentioned anything to Noah just to start shit on purpose. I did not respond to any of the messages and instead I blocked both of their numbers for the time being. As for Noah, Carrie has him wrapped around her little finger completely, so I honestly don't see him doing anything drastic. He sees how she is when she's pouty and how she is when she's spoiled but I think all of that goes over his head completely. But still, I felt I needed to say something. I wish I could say I feel better and like a new woman, but I don't. I feel hurt and betrayed. It feels like my throat or my chest are clogged and I honestly don't know if it'll ever clear. At the end of the day Laura called me and said she really wants me as her maid of honor, but in order to keep the peace she is choosing Carrie. For now I will swallow my pride and my pain and support my favorite sister in anything she decides and I'm going to love my new niece slash nephew to bits. Thank you everyone for listening. And if you have any more advice or words of wisdom I'm all ears. Update, shaming my sister, who's a bridesmaid, for demanding to be maid of honor instead of me. So it was about two weeks, I think, it's all been a weird blur, since I had that talk, with Carrie, and I had since then blocked my mom, dad, and Carrie on everything just hoping things may settle on their own. Well, it didn't exactly settle. But here's what happened. About two weeks after everything my fiancé and I were just chilling late one evening watching TV, it was about 2 a.m., when fiancé gets a phone call from Carrie, he had never blocked her number or mom so at first we just left it, not wanting to deal with whatever Carrie was wanting to talk about at 2am. 
But then right after we ignored the first call she called a second time and left a voice message telling my fiancé to pick up the phone ASAP because there's an emergency. Right away he called back and all we could understand from Carrie was something was going on with mom and she didn't know what to do. We hurried over there and was greeted by Carrie, who told us mom was acting hysterical and she didn't know what to do. When I asked where stepdad was she said they had gotten into a huge row a few days prior and he was now staying at a hotel somewhere. She led us over to mom's room, and on the way there I could see the family photos that were hung up in the hallway were either laying on the floor or smashed. When we entered the bedroom however, mom was calming watching a TV show. She looked over to me and said something along the lines of well if it isn't my only daughter her speech was incredibly slurred, so it was hard to hear and Carrie told me not to pay any mind to what she was saying, because the last hour she's been out of it and saying off things. I thought maybe mom was going to start shouting or something but instead she continued to watch TV. I asked Carrie if mom was drunk, and she said she wasn't sure, although she knew she had some wine earlier. Apparently mom had been saying weird stuff that just made no sense at all, then started screaming and shouting about broken families being stuck in the picture frame so that's why there was that mess in the hall. As I was questioning Carrie, my fiancé decided to call the emergency line to get mom an ambulance. He asked Carrie if mom was on any medication, and apparently she was on something for anxiety and depression, which I had no idea. I knew mom had anxiety issues but I never knew much else once fiancé got off the phone with emergency line Carrie went and grabbed us the bottles of mom's medications to bring to the doctors while fiancé tried to get a hold of my stepdad. I asked Carrie if she contacted our other sister and she said no, because she didn't want to cause any unnecessary stress for her or for the baby. She then went on to admit that she knew I was right the entire time when I told her that stress could affect a pregnancy, but just didn't want to admit it before. I decided now wasn't the time to argue and just kept my mouth shut. Eventually the paramedics came, and just as they did mom started screaming in hysterics again, screaming and yelling stuff that I don't even quite remember because it was garbled and didn't make sense, something about her needing to stay to feed the baby. We all went to the hospital, and eventually fiancé finally got a hold of stepdad and he arrived much later, but the doctor figured with the amount of stress, and with her and dad's constant fighting, Plus with the mixture of alcohol and her medication, turns out she had drank quite a bit that night, it was like she just sort of snapped and she became somewhat confused slash disoriented. He also figures mom hasn't been taking her medication properly. Physically mom was perfectly fine, but they are keeping her in for a few days just to keep an eye on her. Due to COVID I haven't been able to visit her or see her until she gets released, but dad was able to go in and verify a few things, but as far as I know he's not really allowed to stay with her either and was only able to see her that night she was admitted. As for the actual wedding stuff, while Carrie and I were driving back home she had told me that Laura texted her a few days before and told her that I was still going to be Mo. The decision was final and she would not be answering her or our parents' phone calls or texts about the matter. Hearing this had lead to more fighting between mom, dad and Carrie and shouting and that's when things went mostly downhill. Neither Carrie or my parents have spoken to Laura in a few days since. I was completely taken aback, especially since Laura never told me this herself. I tried getting more information but Carrie was pretty much silent the entire way back home. She did have a little speech prepared about how she might no longer ever consider me her sister again, how betrayed she was by everything, and I just let her talk and didn't have much to say. I was too tired to fight or do anything and she had nothing else to say about the wedding or mom's breakdown and I haven't spoken to her since. Currently I am looking for family therapy for the very near future. I'm not sure what's available since COVID, but I plan on getting in touch with mom's doctor to see if he has any suggestions. I had told Alan what had happened, and I'm hoping he will be able to tell Laura without her stressing out too much. I suggested he keep it vague and to tell her mom was completely fine. This all started because of wedding plans, but I guess we just had our problems from the start and it all escalated. Feel free to ask any questions and I'll do my best to answer. It's all been a bit foggy for me so I may have left out important details. Final update, shaming my sister, who's a bridesmaid, for demanding to be maid of honor instead of me. Laura had the wedding. It was before the second lockdown and out on our family's farm with about maybe 50 people that showed. Carrie wore the dress she chose because Laura caved and then wore the tiara thing she picked out. Days before the wedding Carrie made Facebook posts directed at me, just statuses saying stuff like can't believe my own family would be so toxic and bully me. Stuff like that. So, eventually I blocked her. Honestly nothing too out there happened during the wedding. Carrie got drunk and tried to sing and dance and make the attention fall on her, of course, but nothing overly out there. Gave me the cold shoulder big time and if I would enter the room she would announce that she can't be around negative energy then leave, dragging her boyfriend with her. Her boyfriend proposed to her and texted me asking if I would please try to make things up with her and help plan the wedding. I told him I was sorry, but I still wanted to be his friend I just can't have her in my life. He told me he was sorry and he hopes we one day reconcile. Haven't spoken to Carrie in months, but Laura is doing good and they still keep in touch. Mom and my stepdad have been silent and I've just been keeping my distance as well. I don't have any of them on Facebook anymore but Laura keeps me in the loop. Anyways, not much else has happened. Not a very exciting update but thanks everyone for the support.